Okay, this video is going to show us how to use other data sets that aren't yours. So you've noticed in this class, I've kind of been pushing you into data sets that are already built into R. And in this video, I'm going to push you into data sets that you can find on the internet. And then eventually I will walk you into showing you how to use your own data sets. It takes an extra library to use your own Excel files, or it takes a little bit of work to use Excel files or um, comma separated values, which I'll start showing you a little bit today. But because of this extra work, and because I really like to kind of walk us into the world of R in a slow, I'm trying my best at unintimidating way, I've been using the data sets like, um, let's see, we have tooth growth, already built into R, and we've had plant growth. I guess they're always surrounded by plants <laughs> or growth or something. Anyway, um, so if you want to use other data sets, there's two different websites you could go check out. The first one is a website I host. Let's see if I can zoom into the URL so you can see it. So GitHub is this website that allows um, programmers to host code for free in kind of a collaborative way. You don't really need to know anything about GitHub in order to get here. So you can go to your browser and type out github.com forward slash my last name, R-O-U-A-L-D-E-S, forward slash data. And this is a repository. I, um, whoops, let me get everything back in gear here. Okay, there we go. This is a repository I host uh, that just has a bunch of data sets I like using. So if you wanted to check out basically any of these data sets, you're more than welcome to. I'm going to suggest a few to you that would be particularly helpful uh, in this class. So the Finches data set, let's click on the text file first. Maybe zooming in just a little bit more will be helpful for us. That's too far. The Finches dataset is a collection of Darwin's original data from the Galapagos Islands on the specific islands Floriana, San Cristobal, and Santa Cruz. And it's got island as a factor, that's a categorical variable, and then a bunch of numeric variables on 68 finches and nine characteristics of those finches. So right here in the readme file, in the text file, you can find some R code that will read in this data set for you. So if you just highlight that line of code all the way to the right parenthesis, copy it. On a Mac, like I'm using right now, Command-C is a shortcut for copying. Command-C. On a Windows machine, you should be able to use Control-C. And once you come back to R, if you just paste that line of code in, it can read that data set in from the web page that I just showed you. So here is a data frame where you see that uh, categorical variable, the factor island, and a bunch of numerical variables. And it looks like a new data frame is down below too, but it's actually just an extension as if this data frame continued off to the right. It just prints all of the extra variables down here. You can see the row numbers start again at one, just to show you that these are all the same rows. This is all the same finch as starting up here continuing to right here. That's Finch number one. So the Finches data set is really good if you want to um, start using the Finches data set for looking at uh, a bunch of the plots we've already started making or the plots we will start making soon. Uh, the Finches data set is good. Okay, let's go find another. Um, another particular good one is this Penguins data set. So I'll click on the text file there. So this one actually comes from a different package, which makes it a little bit more difficult to read in. But let me show you how to develop the similar code to what we just used for the Finches data set. And I'll let you read about the penguins yourself if you're interested in penguins. So to find the URL to read the data set in yourself, click on the CSV file, and then click on the raw button. You absolutely need to click on this button raw in order to get the appropriate URL. Click on the button raw. 
it's going to open a much more boring page and this is the URL you want. So highlight the entire URL, command or control C. We'll come back into R and I don't know, I'm going to name this data frame penguins because I'm not very clever. And just like we had above, we'll use the function read.csv. Inside the arguments, inside the parentheses, we will specify the argument in double quotes. That is the URL we just read. So let me see if I can say that one more time. So this is the line of code developed for the penguins data set, just like we saw for the finches above, but I'm showing you how to develop it yourself. Let's do the whole thing one more time through. So I'm going to name the data set penguins, but you could name the data set anything you want as long as you chose a reasonable variable name in R. Uh, mostly just stick to letters and don't add spaces. Then I'm going to use the function read.csv to read the comma separated values file that is hosted up on this website, GitHub, in the repository that I own. Inside the parentheses of the functions, you specify arguments to the function. That's kind of where like details about the function go, like what file should we read in? And so here we're going to say within double quotes, now remember you have copied to the clipboard that URL from earlier. So you can use command V as in volume or control V to paste that URL. And you should paste in that URL inside the double quotes inside the left and right parentheses of the function read.csv. It might take it a minute, but indeed, there is the data set for penguins. OK, so those are two examples of data sets you could use that I have like maintained a little bit myself. This is what a CSV file looks like, by the way. It's just a comma separated values. So that is species. The first row is the column names, the variable names. Species, the value, is separated by a comma. An island is the next value separated by a comma. So CSV isn't actually that special. It's almost like an Excel file where instead of cells, you have rows and commas. OK, anyway, if you wanted to be more creative yourself, you could Google R data sets. And then this one, it used to show up as the first link, but these days it's showing up as the second link. This website hosted by Vincent, whoever Vincent is, is actually really nice because it gives you just row after row of data set, however many data sets you can scroll through here and read about ones that are interesting to you. On the right side of the screen, the word doc means um, documentation. So you can read about the data set there. And the CSV is just like I showed you for the data sets on my website up on GitHub. So what you do if you wanted this data set on Argentina Consumer Price Index, you could right click, whoops, you could right click on CSV, copy the link location, and that's going to copy the URL to that specific CSV, just like we did earlier. And over here, you could read in your data set about Argentina CPI, if that was the data set you wanted to use. You'd go read.csv in parentheses, in double quotes, and then paste with command or control V the URL that you just got. And indeed, there is that data set that we just looked at. This data set isn't very interesting. It only really has um, one numeric variable named value. I would recommend you find a data set that it has at least one categorical variable, one factor, and at least two numeric variables. The finches and penguin data sets meet this criteria really well, which is why I recommended them. So when you need to help yourself remember that you need so many ver numeric variables and so many factor variables, you can look at the columns up on this website that says n underscore numeric for the number of numeric variables and n underscore factor for the number of factor variables. You can see this Argentina CPI data set has zero factors. So I wouldn't recommend this data set, actually. I'd encourage you to go find your own data set on this website if you are feeling adventurous. Otherwise, make plots with penguins and finches. <laughs>